Hey everyone, my name is Heba and welcome back. And please don't click away or adjust your device. This is what I look like when I'm on vacation. We're here for our annual family reunion. And if you're new to my channel, this is when I do my annual empties video when we're here, just to kind of mix it up a little bit. And when I'm here, I do not bring any makeup with me, not a single thing, just skincare and sunscreen. And of course my basket of empties, which is right here. It's kind of light this time. And I believe this is for two months. Let's see, May, and April, April and May. Usually we do our family reunion during Labor Day, but this year, and I think we did it one other time, maybe two years ago, we did it during Memorial Day weekend. And I think that's when we're going to do it more often because when we come here during Labor Day, don't know about the weather, the mosquitoes are really bad. It's those kind that can go through your clothes. <laughs> And then when you swat them, there's squirts of blood that comes out. I know that's gross, but that's what these mosquitoes <laughs> look like. So at the end of May, there's hardly any mosquitoes. There's some, but not like in September because of the rain. And we had so much fun. We're at the tail end of our vacation. Everyone's gone except for Shokin and I, my husband. And it's so much fun when we're together laughing, playing games, eating, drinking. Just so thankful that we're together. And I know my hair looks a little you know, scary, and my face with no makeup. Again, while I'm here, I don't have any makeup and I don't dry my hair. I just let it, you know, dry naturally because the next day we're going back in the water. So, all right, let me go ahead and separate the empties and categories so this video would be not so long and you don't have to look at this <laughs> and I'll be right back. Let's go ahead and start with skincare and I have two facial mist and this one's my favorite by Mario Badescu. It's not the rose water, but this one's the cucumber and green tea facial spray. These are so nice and inexpensive. This is a four ounce bottle and it was $7 and I think it is. If not, it probably jumped another dollar or two, but this is just a great way to kind of rehydrate your skin. You could even set your makeup with this. You can even use it for your eyeshadows. You know, if you want to spritz the metallic shade to give it a little bit more pop on your eyes. Love these and I have several more in different flavors. The other one is by Chantecaille and it's the Orange Flower Water. This one was nice. It does have that nice citrusy scent, but it's expensive and I'd rather have the Mario Badescu one, but this one was nice to try. It had a nice mist to it. Again, a nice citrusy scent, but for the price, yeah, I probably wouldn't get this one again. It was nice to try it, but yeah, even when Chantecaille has their sale, I'm not gonna pick this one up again. And then I have this toner, it's by Naobe. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Here's what it looks like. I believe I got this during one of the advent calendars, either from YesStyle or Look Fantastic. Honestly, I can't remember. But this one was a nice toner. After I would use the mist, then I apply this as a toner. But let me see what it has. It's anti-aging raspberry marshmallow and marigold extracts, which sounds really nice. I wouldn't mind getting this one again. I believe you can find this at YesStyle. It's K-Beauty, but yeah, I wouldn't mind getting this one again. And I'm one of those that believes when you use facial mists or toners and then apply the serums and moisturizers, it really helps to kind of sink it in your skin. That's just what I think. Maybe it can be a little excessive, but I think it works well for me. And it's just something that I enjoy doing to my skin. Now I have a couple of masks and this one's my favorite. It's by May Lindstrom, the Honey Mask. Love this for my skin and the scent. It just smells so good. Now she does say that we can use this as a cleanser too, but I don't like to use it that way because I want this to be on my skin as long as possible. And I also like to mix the Honey Mud with her Clean Dirt, that mask. That one comes in a powder and I just mix those two together, add a little bit of water and apply it to my skin, let it sit, and then I'll hop into the shower and just exfoliate it off. And my skin just looks and feels so good. Brighter, cleaner, and that scent just kind of still lingers around. And I already have a backup of it and I'm already using it. Love the May Lindstrom Honey Mud. Another mask, this is by First Aid Beauty and it's the Instant Oatmeal Mask. Really do like this one too. And I already have a backup of it. Always pick it up when it's on sale. And it's a nice mask. It calms the skin down because of the oatmeal. And it does have like a, I don't know, it 
smells sugary. I don't know how to explain it, but it's a wonderful mask if you have some irritation in your skin. And I do have combo oily skin, have breakouts, so this is really nice to kind of calm it down a little bit. Then I have this serum by 111 Skin, the Theorem Repair Serum NACY2. This serum has niacinamide and my skin just loves this serum. Let me bring it up closer so you can see the full name of it because I don't think I said it right. Finally found one on sale and I picked up a backup of it and it's just a nice serum. It's kind of like a gel and it sinks very nice in the skin. It has a nice clean skin to a uh, skin. No, a nice clean scent to it, but this has nice niacinamide in it and my skin just loves it. Just, I don't know, there's just something about this serum that I really do like. Now he does have the moisturizing cream, which is not my favorite, but the serum is nice and it is expensive. It is expensive. So I finally found it on sale, and so I do have a backup of it. Really nice serum, beautiful. Now this moisturizing cream, it's by Kate Somerville, the Goat Milk Moisturizing Cream. This one was okay. It came in the, I believe it was the Space NK Advent Calendar. Not my favorite. It has a very light consistency, which isn't bad. It sinks very nicely into the skin, but I didn't see anything that just wowed me whenever I applied this on. It does come in this type of a pump which is good, I like it, but I just didn't like the product that's in here. I will not be picking up a backup of it, no. There's some products by Kate Somerville that just doesn't work for me, and she's expensive, she's expensive. I'm glad I got to try it, but yeah, no. Let's go into cleansers here. This is by Elemis, the Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. Love this stuff, love this stuff. I have a couple backups of it whenever I see a good sale, especially during Nordstrom. This also comes with a cleansing cloth. I'm either still using it or kind of downgraded into, you know, a household cleansing cloth. But after I use micellar water to take my eye makeup off, then I'll take just like a teaspoon of this product, apply it to my dry skin, massage it in, then get the cleansing cloth with warm water and apply it to my face and the makeup just comes off. It has a beautiful scent and like I said it takes the makeup off. It doesn't leave that cloudiness in my eyes and this is one of my favorite cleansing balms and again I have backups of them. Now this one's my husband's also by Elemis and it's the Deep Cleanse Facial Wash. I already got him a couple more also on sale and he loves this so I will keep getting this for him whenever he says he found something else new but so far he loves this facial wash by Elemis. Another product by Elemis. Wow I didn't know I had that many. <laughs> I'm gonna need my glasses to see this one because it's a small sample size, but this is the Superfood Black Current Jelly Exfoliation. Really nice exfoliation for after I cleanse my skin with the cleansing balm and then I'll do a second cleanse and then I'll add a little bit of exfoliation to really cleanse my skin. I know it's a bit excessive, but I just wanna make sure my skin is clean. Now I would like to get a full size of this one, but I have several that I just wanna get through from other brands, other products. So whenever I'm running low, I would like to pick this one up. This is kind of very similar to the one by Chanel. I think it's the Sublimage exfoliation. I only have it in the sample size because it's just too expensive to get the full size and it also comes in a jar like that. I'd rather have it in a tube. This one kind of reminds me of the one by Chanel. That same black gel with some exfoliation. Now, of course, it doesn't have that Chanel scent, but it's quite close, quite close and a lot cheaper. And it comes in a tube. Then I have this one by Amora Visca, and this one did come in an advent calendar either last year or the year before. And this is the Peachy Micellar Cleanser. Now, these came in, a, in like in a round pad. And I really didn't use these to cleanse my eyes. I use these just to kind of clean my fingers with swatches or my hand whenever I do swatching of palettes or lipsticks or whatnot. But I don't know how this one would work taking makeup off your face because I prefer using the micellar water. And another thing that I use by Neutrogena, those cleansing wipes that I also use to clean off swatches. I don't like to use it on my face because I think that it would just pull my skin too much trying to take the eye makeup off. So I just kind of use those for swatches. Now this one was nice to try. I did clean the swatches off good. They were, you know, yay big, but I will not be picking a backup of this one. It was nice to try just for the swatches, but to clean my eye makeup with it, yeah, I don't think I'd use it that way, no. Now let's go into makeup, and I have this one by Guerlain, the Lore Radiance Primer. Love this primer. I do have a backup of it in this formula, the older formula, because they just reformulated it. I didn't pick that one up yet because I already have the backup of it, so maybe 
in the next six months or whenever I find this sale, I'd like to pick this one up again. It's a nice primer. It has little gold specks in there. It's nice on the skin and it just makes my makeup look a lot better. Let's see here. There is a little bit left here in the back. I don't know if you can see that, but that's what it looks like with the gold specks. I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but I believe this one's like my second or third bottle of using this Radiance Primer. Very nice primer. And then this product by Shantakai. This is the Cushion Foundation, the Future Skin Cushion. Not my favorite. Not my favorite. It did kind of dry out. This one's in the shade Wheat, and this is what it looks like. Yeah, not my favorite foundation. This one does come with a refill, and the refill is already in here because I finished it the, the first one first. And then it just kind of dried up because I wasn't using it because it's not my favorite. And they don't have that many shades because they say they have that technology to where it can match your skin. Yeah, no. I have some body washes here, and this one, of course, shows up a lot of my empties. It's by Molten Brown. And this is, I guess, the travel size. And my husband uses this one, Coastal Cypress NC Fennel. It's hard to see it with a clear bottle and clear font. But this one smells nice. It smells very clean. But we have several more in this size because they do show up in a lot of gift with purchases, advent calendar and whatnot. But it's a nice body wash. It really is. And another body wash, this is by the White Company, and this is the Blanc body wash. Love this scent. This one has geranium, juniper, and patchouli. Beautiful scent. Also have it in the body lotion. And I also picked it up in the full size because this is just a wonderful scent. This one showed up in the advent calendar by the White Company. Love the scent so much that Oh, it smells so clean that I had to pick up the full size. Of course, when they were having their sale, but it's just a beautiful scent and it just cleanses your skin very nicely. And the body lotion that I have in the same scent, it absorbs nice and that scent just kind of lingers on and I like that. Now we have this bar of soap, Cloud Bar by Joanna Vargas, and it's the Hydrate and Calm. A gentle cleansing soap with nourishing coconut and soothing chamomile. For sensitive skin. This is a nice soap. I only use soap to shave my leg. Not really to cleanse my body because sometimes it does kind of dry my skin out. And it's not a bad bar of soap. I did get this one in an advent calendar. I just use soaps to shave my legs and I get a lot of them in these advent calendars and again gift with purchases. Now I have this candle by Veluspa Santal Vanilla. I believe that's how you pronounce it. That one right there. I did pick these up during the Nordstrom anniversary sale. I believe it was a pack of four or five. It's a nice candle. I don't think it kind of make the whole room smell. Not like some of the other candles that I have, but it was nice to try. It was the first time that I tried Veluspa. I've already gone through, I think two or three and I have one more left. It's, I mean, it's nice. It's a nice container, I have to say, but yeah, during the Nordstrom anniversary sale, if they have these again, probably won't pick them up. And then another product that shows up in, you know, these gift with purchases and advent calendars, this is by Neon, and it's a pillow mist, and it's really nice. It has that lavender scent to where you just spray it on your pillow right before you go to bed, and it just kind of calms you. At least that's what it does for me and, and my husband. I don't think I have another one of these. I have to kind of go through my stash. Maybe I might have another one in a different brand, a pillow mist. These aren't bad. These aren't bad. Then I have this sheet mask. It's by Secret Key. I also have it in the full bottle and liquid essence. Really nice. Really nice product. Just relaxes you when you put a sheet mask on and then when you take it out your pores just kind of shrinks a little bit. Your skin is moisturized. And I have a couple more of these. It's a K-Beauty product and so is the Essence. Beautiful product. And one of y'all mentioned that it's kind of a dupe of the SK2 Essence. I think it's like a fourth of the price. <laughs> Let me show you here. I hope you can see this is what it looks like and this is what the Essence look like in the bottle. So I have a couple more of these and I also have the Essence. Really nice product. Okay, the last category is hair and I have a lot of products for my hair. Probably wouldn't think it looking at it right now, but <laughs> let's start with the shampoo and conditioner. And these are my favorite and it's what I brought with us on vacation. I have it in the shower now, the backups of it, but it's by Revitalash. The thickening shampoo and conditioner. Love this stuff. It just kind of makes my hair give it volume without weighing it down. And these do show up a lot in my empties. The ones that I'm using right now, it's the last one. So I'm just looking for a good sale so I can buy some backups of it. But yeah, love the shampoo and conditioner. Another shampoo and conditioner that I have, it's by Philip B. And the shampoo is the peppermint avocado shampoo and the conditioner is the white truffle conditioner. So here's what the bottles look like. Now I did get these 
these as samples and I liked it so much that I went ahead and bought the full size. It is expensive. It is expensive. I didn't buy the full size again. I think I have it in travel sizes because it is expensive. But this one, again, the shampoo peppermint avocado. It comes in a green color. I don't know if you can see what's left there. I guess for the color of the avocado, but it has peppermint in there. And whenever I use the shampoo, I kind of get it closer to my scalp and it has that that peppermint stimulation is what I feel. Doesn't sting, doesn't do anything like that, but I think it just helps with stimulation. And the white truffle conditioner doesn't really give you volume, it just kinda gives the moisture to it without weighing your hair down. And it has the white truffle oil, lemon, and thyme. And these both have ingredients of plant extract. So it's a really nice brand, clean brand, but expensive brand. Then I have this one, it's for the scalp, it's by Christoph Robin. It's the Cleansing Volumizing Paste, Razul Clay, I believe that's how you say it, and rose extracts. Now this one, you just need a little bit because it lathers up a lot. And you just kind of scrub your scalp with this. And then I'll use shampoo and conditioner like the one by Revitalash. And then whenever I use this, I do notice that my hair has a little bit more volume to it. Here's a little bit out of the bottle. That's what it looks like. It doesn't look very good, but I do think that this gives you great volume. And you, again, you just need a little bit. Now this one is the full size. When I get this one again, I'm going to buy the little travel size because it does last you a long time because you just need a little bit. Then I have this travel size. This is by Murdoch of London, the Sea Salt Spray. Really do like this one. I have another one in this size and I do like it, but the one that I like better is by Bumble and Bumble, that Sea Salt Spray. But this one just kind of gives your hair, you know, that beachy look like this maybe. <laughs> Maybe this will be bad advertisement for it. But I do like the products from Murdoch of London. The sea salt spray and the volumizing mousse. And I have the mousse too. But this one's really nice and I do have another one in this size. Now I have this one by Orbe and... Oh no, can you read that? <laughs> It kind of came off. I forgot the name of it, but I'll write it down here whenever, you know, I look it up online. But this is a styling cream. Really do like it that I have a backup of it. And I also have the one that came in the, oh gosh, I think it was in the Beautylish Lucky Bag. The one in the blue bottle. I believe it's the Featherless Hair Balm. like that one too. But I think I like this one just a little bit more. Just gives my hair that extra ump to kind of hopefully keep the style in place. And it has that Orbe scent. Very nice. And this one finally found it on sale for my husband. It's the IGK Mistress. And I think it was during the Sephora sale that I picked this one up for him. He just loves this for his hair. We had that running joke. This is the only mistress that he can have, that he can use. But after a while, it does get kind of old with that joke, I have to admit. <laughs> but yes, he already has a backup of it, maybe two. Well, all right, those are my empties for the month of April and May here in Galveston, Texas for our annual family reunion. Well, all right, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. And if you liked and enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you can see more videos like this. And you all have a wonderful, wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.